Right, welcome back to Crypto's Rich Boy. Today I'm going to be talking about a new coin, guys. Like I promised in my last video, we're going to be going over Harvest Finance or Farm. Look at those gains 137% up at $212. Their volume is 2,712% up in the last 24 hours. <clears throat> Their market cap is 126,325,676. And look at these gains. So we're going to take a look at um, the smaller chart. They were trading around the $80 mark. <coughs> and sorry. And um, they went up to almost $240. The reason why is because they got onto Coinbase. So Coinbase is trading at almost $217 right now. So this farm is an Ethereum token that powers Harvest Finance, a yield optimizer that moves funds around the decentralized finance ecosystem in an effort to generate yields. Farm can be used for staking and yield farming on Harvest Finance. So it sounds like this token is going to gain you guys some rewards. Now, if we go take a look at their website, um, it's just harvest.finance. Um, it looks like this is all the things that they can work with. They have balancers and all that. And so if you guys want to check it out, it's just like I said, harvest.finance, deposits to harvest. Look at that money continuing to go up. So um, let's see. Let's go over to their Twitter if you guys want to check them out, it's um, at harvest underscore finance. Harvest automatically farms the highest yields in DeFi. Follow the fun community operated Twitter. So there's their Twitter, there's their Discord. They have over 50,000, almost 51,000 followers, guys. So they were able to accomplish harvest on Polygon, harvest at ETH, ETHCC, at Bancor's Target LM for Farm Pool. Harvest BSC Buzz, Fox and Liquidity Vaults, new emission schedule. So it looks like they've been out for just over 47 weeks and they are doing their thing. Two hours ago, it says Coinbase listing, version 2 launch, Polygon integration, BSC relaunch, UST Vault, Bancor's target LM campaign for Farm Pool, collab with ba uh, Balancer Labs. ETHCC, Fox Vault, AMP, LI Farm, and Boost Feature. So, they are doing great things, guys. It seems like they are definitely getting the eyes of a lot of people. Look at that. 136% gains. Now, would I advise you to go get it right now? Probably not because, not financial advice, but anything launches don't really want to get into it just yet. Now, I will tell you, at $212, you got to think. The price seems kind of high, but the main thing I want to point out in this video is I was able to get some um, tokens or shares or coins, whatever you want to call it, because if you look at it, they have less than 600000 total circulating supply and if you look if you look at other coins that have that low circulating supply and their max supply is less than 700,000 so less than 100,000 is going to come out for their total supply <clears throat> actually their total supply is 633,000 their max supply is 690,000 so if you look at other coins that has this low of a cap like if you look at other coins that has this low of a cap, you are going to see the price. Now let's look. Now let's go to Ethereum. So Ethereum has 116 million, 116 million coins, and they're at two thousand dollars. Now let's go back. Let's look at Binance Coin. Binance Coin's at three hundred dollars. They have 168 million coins. Guys, we're talking about less than 600,000 for this coin. Now, let's let's go back and take a look at another one. I just want to show you guys the price versus the amount. Let's look at um 
Let's look at Bitcoin Cash. 500 bucks. They have 18 million circulating supply. Now, this just hit one of the biggest exchanges in the United States. Actually, one of the biggest ones in the world. Like I heard it's big in the UK, it's big in the United States. You got to think for for that low of a supply and that use case they're already partnering with all those companies and projects and with that price I'm not going to lie I rearranged some of my funds and I went in and I I got I got a uh, you know a couple a couple coins now look at um so if you look at another one that I look at you're in finance, $30,000. They have 36,000 coins. Okay, this has more than 10 times. So, okay, divide that by 10. That's a $3,000 coin, guys. That's a 10x gain. I am predicting that farm. Oh, wow, look at that trending. It's number four. Sorry, I'm getting so hyped about this because I always hear about these projects. To keep in mind, guys, I've been in this pro this space for um since 2017. Okay, I seen coins like let me see if I can get it on here. I think it's Thor Thor coin seventeen thousand dollars. I kid you not. I was looking at this coin. Um, let's see. Back in 2018. I was looking at this coin and I was like, mm, I don't have enough money for that. I was looking at this coin probably right around the two hundred dollar mark. Two thousand nineteen, sorry, February two thousand nineteen. It was two hundred dollars, guys. Two hundred dollars. Now, let's see how much um market supply this has. This has eighty six thousand. Now, granted, that one has about Mm, six times the amount, but even if you divide this, that is over a thousand dollars a coin. That is at least five times your money. Okay, and third coin is not even on Coinbase, so keep that in mind. Third coin is almost at eighteen thousand dollars, and I, oh, I'm so mad. I could have got that thing for two hundred dollars. I'm not missing out another opportunity. Do what you guys want. Not financial advice. I'm just saying, for it doing what it's doing do your own research like i said but for it doing what it's doing and it just hit coinbase and it's only at two hundred dollars only at two hundred dollars and we're about to hit another bull run i easily think that this is going to over a thousand dollars potentially like i said i think it's going to hit around three thousand for my max my low price prediction is between a thousand and fifteen hundred um realistically i think this can 10x i think it can 10x your portfolio and i think it's gonna do it really like pretty quick so because that circulating supply is just crazy and that price is the price of other coins with you know way more circulating supply so circulating supply is something that you guys should look at when you're getting into a coin like look at this so everyone loved dogecoin Dogecoin's at 20 cents, right? Look at their circulating supply. 130 billion. No, 100 and, wait, one, yeah, 130 billion. And it's at 20 cents. And this went from less than a penny last year to over 20 cents. So it's about being in the right coin, guys. It's about being at the right time. We are coming up in another bull run. I feel it in my bones. We're coming up another bull run. Don't miss out. Not financial advice. Do your own research. But please don't miss out. Like I said, it could fall. This is probably going to go back down to the 100s. Um, like I said, I went ahead and got in. Even though I kind of knew the risk. But because of that supply and because of the, 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 the listings that it has, it has a bunch of ways to get it. And Coinbase is not even on here yet. Gate.io, Uniswap, SushiSwap, 
Dodo, Zero X Protocol, Hotbit, AEX, Hit BTC. Guys, I'm just saying, it to me is definitely something that because of the supply and because of all the partners, I think it's going to go to the moon. So, anyway, guys, that is it. That's my um, kind of spiel on Harvest Finance. Um, just hit Coinbase for you guys that don't already know. And uh, it's already at 138% gains. Like, um, like I said, it could come down. Like I said, I think it's going to go down maybe to about the 150 to 170 mark before it continues to run. But at the end of the day, if it goes to three, four thousand dollars, eh, what's what's uh thirty dollars gonna do? Like you know, when I'm gonna gain it back in like between six months, I honestly believe that. Anyway, guys, um, that is my overall thoughts on Harvest Finance. Check it out on Coinbase. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys want me to cover any other coin. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time.